Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this review is about Jyoti Institute of Technology and I am going to cover the complete branch wise placements of this college for two years. So this is the main college, Jyoti Institute of Technology, it's called JIT Bangalore. Set code is E209 and through Comet K, the code is E159. So a little bit about the college. So JIT is called Jyoti Institute of Technology and this college is affiliated to VTU Vishwishwara Technological University approved by ACT and this college was started in 2011 so almost like 10 batches have passed here and it's one of the uh, options which is located in Tathaguna area of Bangalore which is on the Kanakpura main road so it is very close to uh, no, Art of Living International Center and the overall campus is 12 acres right so which is decent size and this is basically the location of the uh, college which is Tataguni Bangalore and on the Google map you can see here so these are the admission details if you want to reach out to the college so this is small part of the infrastructure overall which is there in this college in terms of building and others course they have uh, information science engineering uh, mechanical engineering they have also have the new uh, specialization of aiml and the regular ones like civil engineering computer science engineering and the electronics and communication engineering is also there in the campus so a lot of the placement details which i am going to cover now in this video is taken from the mandatory disclosure document so from the same document, it shows that the programs which are accredited by NBA are CSC, Information Science Engineering, and ECE and Civil Engineering. So first three courses are accredited up to 2025 and the Civil Engineering is accredited up to June 2024. Now in terms of the details which is regarding the seat matrix given in the mandatory disclosure document, they had around 480 seats in UG and PG around 78 seats so that for 23-24 batch it was around 465 in UG and PG was only 10 so that is the type, type of intake which has happened in the last year 23-24 batch now in terms of the total seats uh, branch wise like artificial intelligence has 60 seats and if you see the KSET cutoff for last year was uh, 48968 computer science engineering has 180 seats and the k set cutoff was 37390 civil engineering has a 30 seats and k set cutoff was 85000 electronics engineering ece was 120 seats and the k set exam cutoff was 47000 Information science engineering 60 seats, but the I think somebody left and at the end it closed around 1,89,000 and mechanical engineering around 1,73,686 through KSET mode of admission. So that is overall cutoffs and other things. Now coming directly to the placements. So I'm going to cover branch wise placement and this is for two years. So let's start from the previous age, which is 22 passing batch. So in the 22 passing batch, in the first column, you can see the total number of students were 253. And out of those 253 students, 180 students were eligible. And those 187 students got uh, total 263 offers. So there will be students which will have multiple offers. So if you see from the computer science engineering uh, you know, branch, 51 students had multiple offers. This is look, looking good. Information science engineering also 47 students had multiple offers. In ECE 15 students have multiple offers and mechanical 4 students, civil 1 student had multiple. That means 1 student have more than 1 offer. So one, 118 students had more than 1 offer. But if you talk about the student who have got only 1 offer, a unique offer, then 50 students have got one offer in CSC and similarly 48 got the one offer in ISC and so on. So 145 unique offers. So total st students placed, right, if you want to see it is in the last column 239 and overall they have given the breakup of IT and non-IT. 
So CSC 100 students got placed, which is good. Information science also 94 got placed. So those two branches are the where the maximum students will get placed. CSC and IC. So this is the placement of 22 batch. Now let's see the latest placement, which is 2023 batch. So 2023 batch was tough and the lot of placements reduced in all the colleges. So here in 2023 batch also, you see 279 students were were available and out of which 216 were, you know, uh, there. But total offers received this year reduced from an earlier 200 plus offers to 185s. So total offers, if you see 185, the breakup is that highest number of offers are for CSC branch. 87 offers from CSC, 42 offers from ISC, 44 offers from ECE. So those three branches itself are having higher offers, otherwise lower offers on this thing, right? So you can see the best placement has happened from CSC. In this year, like 14 got into a, a non-IT company and 73 got into IT companies, last two columns. For information science engineering, 20 got into non-IT company and 22 into IT company. In ECE also, 16 got into core and 28 got into IT industry. So these three branches are the mere maximum placement have happened. And in fact, out of that, only CSC performed well in the last year which is 23. In 2022, many branches were getting good placement like CSC, ISC, but last year the placements are down and only CSC got 73 uh, placed students in uh, IT and 14, to total 85, 87 offers in CSC. So that's all I have to cover in this video. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe to the channel to get similar updates on all the colleges in Karnataka.